Hi guys, so the first product I use is the Malibu Face Cream. It's an SPF 50, which is high protection. I love using this. It makes your skin so soft and silky, it's unreal. And it just gives that really like sheer glow. And also Ashton's hand, trying to hand me a brush there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna apply that literally all over my face and you can see the glow that it gives, which is crazy. Next up, um, after I put that away, next up I use the Lip Balm in Tropical Flavor. This has got an SPF of 30, which is really good for your lips. They don't dry out in the sun. They make your lips look, they feel so soft. I use this product every day without makeup as well. I then go in and use the Last and Finish 8 Hour Wear by Rimmel London. I got this product from, I think it was either Boots or Superdrug. It's a makeup primer and I literally swear by this product. It's like a bluey colour when it comes out and it's got that hint of shine in it. So it gives like a highlighter effect. It's an highlighter effect primer but it is absolutely amazing. It makes your skin look so dewy which is unreal. I think that was about 5 99 and you can see the results there. They look absolutely outstanding. I then go in. This is the Glow Cherry by L'Oreal Paris. It's a natural natural glow enhancer. I literally swear by this product. It looks like a highlighter. I thought it was a highlighter, but when it goes on, it moisturizes your skin. It brings out your natural glow. So you can wear this with or without makeup. And it's, uh, it's amazing. I always wear this if I'm not wearing makeup because the glow is just amazing. So this I had from the Debenhams and I think it was 9.99. So I like to rub that all over my face, my neck, pretty much everywhere. As you can see, I'm just going in with that. I like to leave a little bit on my hand also. So when I put my foundation on my hand to blend, I mix the foundation in with this to give an extra glow. So just a little bit there. Next up for foundation, I like to use the Huda Booty in shade Vanilla, which is 120B. I use about two squirts of that on my hand, mixed in with the Glow Enhancer. And I also use the L'Oreal Paris True Match. It's a super blendable foundation. It is so silky. I always struggle with foundations to match, not just my color skin, but in general my skin and this one is so it's perfect for people who've got like light color skin and they want they want to see their skin through their makeup they don't want it caked on they don't want it too heavy this is absolutely amazing i use it in ivory which is one n and i use my kabuki foundation brush to blend that product in and as you can see i mix the two colors together because the who does a shade darker and the L'Oreal is a shade lighter, also the Glow Enhancer. So if I want to wear a full coverage makeup, because L'Oreal is not full coverage, then I mix L'Oreal in with the Huda Beauty and that gives a full coverage makeup, but also a sheer glow. It looks super dewy. So yeah, I'm just blending that all over my face, my neck. You don't want any of those streaks or lines, so I like to make sure I go full in. Try and get rid of that double chin as much as possible whilst I'm in there. And yeah, don't forget those eyes. Those bags and those eyes are absolutely bad. <laughs> so yeah, my eyebrows are already done because I dyed them. I'm going to show you guys how I got my eyebrows looking fleek and I will stay on for 10 days in the next YouTube video. Go get that! So yeah, I got kids in the background whilst I'm doing the voiceover for this. But who doesn't, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, I like to make sure that's all proper blended in. This is the Kabuki Technic brush. Um, it's the brush I like to use for foundation. This Kabuki brush 
is a contour brush. I like to go over all my foundation with this brush just to make sure there's no streaks or lines and it's all evened out. Because I don't like using the same brush then because it just makes the streakiness and this just gives a perfect finish. So, so yeah, I'm just blending all that in. Make sure you get it all blended and get rid of those streaks. The next product I go in and use is my All To Go Fave All Night Long Medium Coverage Foundation Stick by Barry M. This is in shade Fudge. I absolutely love this for contouring. I used to have the skin colour foundation stick and it was literally amazing. So I'm just contouring contouring all the high parts of my face that I want to have defined. I then go in with my contour kabuki brush and blend all that out. So you want to make sure that's all proper blended because the last thing you want is streaky lines, harsh lines and it looks horrendous when people contour and they've just got a plain bulky line on their face. So. I like to make sure it's all really nicely blended and it's even out before I set my face. So I'm just doing the jaw. Probably if you blend up to the ear also, it gives a nice defined jaw and obviously get rid of that double chin because at the start of the video, we do not like that double chin. And the same for the other side. As you can see, that gives a nice contour effect already, and also the same for the nose. I don't use like smaller brushes when I blend in the contour of my nose because it's all gone the same way, so I'm not fussy. And then the forehead, obviously. Make sure you go into the airline because some people make that mistake where they don't go into the airline and it leaves a big brown line by your hairline and it looks horrendous. It makes you look like you've got orange foundation on and you have not <laughs> so next up i go in with the nars palette it's well i say palette it's the nars um bronzer this is in shade laguana i think you spell it i don't know but i literally love this product and it's so small as well so you can literally fit it in a travel size bag and take it wherever you go i swear by this for contouring I sometimes use the product on its own if I don't want heavy makeup or I'll go in and use this on top of the cream just to set that contour. I go in with a different kabuki brush. This time it's more of a blush brush just to give a more buff effect. So I don't want to go in with the same contour brush because that's more for like creams. So I'm going in with a powder brush which is a lot more fluffy and softer to make sure that powder blends in better. And as you can see, that product have really defined my face, which makes it look absolutely flawless. So yeah, I like to go over all the contour that I've just contoured and I go for the bronzer. This gives a more defined effect. Or you could just use cream contour, but I think when you just use cream contour, it's like the colour doesn't match. So I use my eyeshadow fluffy brush. I got this brush from Birchbox. It was in free with my monthly pack and I used that just to define my nose with the NARS bronzer. I don't know what it is because the NARS bronzer is the perfect contour shade. Whereas the cream contours are off, they're more orangey. So when you use Right, yeah, damn, you're going too fast. So, yeah, next up is the concealer part. I've actually run up this, guys. That's why it's not showing as much on my face. This is the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer in shade 03 Fair. I absolutely love this concealer, and today I actually run out, so I can have to order some more. That's why it's not showing that much on my face, but I try to use as much product as I could. I swear by this concealer. It is so full coverage, you could literally wear it without anything. If you just want to cover those bags and device, 
is absolutely amazing. So I go back to my Kabuki foundation brush and I dab underneath my eyes to make sure it's all blended. I use the foundation brush because I've already used foundation on this anyway. So the concealer and the foundation in the same shade so it blends out evenly and the Kabuki brush is better. I also define under what I've contoured so you've got no harsh lines from the contour it makes it look nice and defined like you've got nice flawless cheekbones and also my chin the same so yeah as you can see it's all i never use as much of that concealer and i use just a little bit there and it's already given a much dewy flawless look and i'm after that dewy look lately and because the primer underneath and the creams and the glow enhancer yeah i've gone under my neck here to get rid of any of the harsh lines from contouring my jawline so i just want to make sure it's all even you can't see no harsh lines and it's all just blended in perfectly i'm also done my nose i then go back over with the nars palette after i've concealed yeah i'm just looking for my brush ashton's just dropped my brush on the floor so yeah I think I've got to use a different brush so I'm going back in with the fluffy kabuki brush make sure it's clean and I like to just go over my cheekbones again because sometimes when you conceal you go over the contour just a little bit so I like to make sure that's more defined by using the tiniest amount of bronzer and going over my cheekbones again so I just want to make sure that's all blended in and you can actually see the contour and it makes it pop it really does work So that's what I'm doing there. Ashton sitting next to me at this point, guys, so please bear with. <laughs> he loses all my products. So that's the contour is done, I think. I then go in with the MAC Studio Fix um, powdered foundation in shade NC25. And I like to pack this under my eyes. Um, my chin, my forehead, basically all the parts I concealed. I like to go in with a fluffy brush. So I normally use a blusher brush for this and just pack on. This also gives extra lasting on your foundation and your makeup because it's a compact. Yeah, here I go. <laughs> Ashton's now messing with all my stuff. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> At this point, he literally pulled my makeup drawer out and jammed his finger. So, yeah, so I like to pack that on because it's a powdered foundation. It gives an extra layer of foundation on your skin without looking like a foundation. So, I love this product. I'm actually tempting again the brown, the bronzer as well. So, I literally pack that all over where I concealed, and that makes your foundation, your concealer, and your contour last so much longer. I also like to do the neck because the last thing you want is a different colour neck to your face. Then I go in. This is the fave, fave, fave. Love this product. I've had this for two years now, the same palette. That's how good it is. It's Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. And it has the perfect shade for blush, which is called Bora Bora. So... It gives, it's got such a glow on it as well. So the glow is unreal. So the glow is absolutely unreal. So as you can see, that's popped my cheeks completely. I then go in with my fan brush and use shade Maldives for the highlighter of the same palette. I then highlight all the high points of my face. So that's my cheeks down my nose, my cupid's brow, my chin, my forehead and my eyebrows. And I like to do my jawline as well. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Tidying up, okay, she's tidying. Still got a double chin, guys. Oh my god, look at the size of my double chin. So this is a big ass brush now. So 
So this is the brush I use. I'm just making sure there's no product on it. So the last thing I want is loads of product in my face. This is what I use to blend every single thing in together to make sure there's no lines. It's all blended in tidy and give the perfect finish. Look at that. Definitely booking in for some filler on my chin after this is over, guys. Oh my God, look at that double chin. <laughs> so I then go in with the Technic Soft Focus Transparent Loose Powder. And I use a eyeshadow brush and I dab that all over the lids of my eyes and under the bottom of my eye. That's just to get a good clear base ready for the eyeshadow. I like to make that super soft. The last thing you want is to mix it all in. So for my eyeshadow, sometimes I do this because I just love the nude look. I use my NARS bronzer or whatever bronzer I have available and I pack that just a tiny bit goes a long way. A tiny bit goes on a long way onto the eyes and it really does make a difference. So I use our under the eyes as well, just to give a nice finish. As you can see, it just makes it look so nude and lovely and just enhances your natural eye colour. <laughs> so next I go in with the mascara. This is by Marcel. I had this from Birchbox. Love this product. Slowly running out, so in need of a new makeup shopping trip soon. So yeah, no lashes today, guys. I'm going all natural. <laughs> And yeah, she done it. She actually done it. She put a full face of makeup on and then she dabs mascara in the corner of her eye. That's because of her child sitting next to her keeping on. <laughs> yeah, let's pretend that didn't happen. Now I got a bit of eyelash stuck to my corner. Now do pretend that didn't happen, guys. Okay, let's move on. So yeah. Guys, I hate the front profile of my face so much. It's like, does anyone else have like a favorite like position on their face where they can do like angles, where they can do a video and picture without looking fat? Well, mine is always my side profile and that's normally the right hand side of my face. I have, that's my good side. Whereas front, full on front profile is a no go for me. It just makes me look so idiot and fat. I hate it. Hate, hate, hate. <laughs> so, nearly done. Just doing the lower lash line there. Right, that's done. So, I like to use the Anastasia eyebrow brush to brush out my eyebrows to make sure they're positioned well before I go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel. I love this. I need to buy some more because I've had this a while. It You can use this even if you haven't done your brows because it gives a lovely effect on your brows. It makes them look more fuller and it also lasts so long. So... I just like to put the gel on just to make sure that all the hairs stay in the right place. So next up, I'm going in. Yeah, Ashton did that. He put all my makeup brushes. They were in the stand. Tidy, he put them all in my makeup drawer. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. Now I've got pro back. Next up is my lips. So I'm going in with the... Bodiography Timber Lip Pencil. I actually had this from Birchbox. It is such a rich shade. It's more of a purplish burgundy colour, I would say. Or a nude colour, whatever you want to call it. But it's literally... This pencil I've had for about a year now. And it's not even small. That's how pigmented the pencil is. And how like creamy it lasts so long. So yeah, I like to apply my lips just a little bit. I think bigger the lips the better. That's just my preference. They just look so much fuller when they overline just a tad, not too much. 
Ashton's still messing right as I'm trying to do my lips. As you can see, he's flicking my makeup mat around and around. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I think she knows. So now I'm going in with the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour. This is actually by... Oh, God. Where's it by? This is by Rimmel London. And this is in shade... Oh, shit. Ah, I don't know the shade. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, Rosetto Liquido. <laughs> Rosetto Liquido is the shade. So it's like a rose colour. And I just dab that for the middle of my lips. And voila, she's got a full face of makeup. So yeah, that's a more dewy. But this is my all favourite check.